Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin, and today we're doing something a little bit different. I feel like I'm saying that a lot recently, and we kind of are, I guess. We're doing a, a few different kind of projects recently, which is fun, it's good to vary it up. But something I get asked a lot is, where did Jim Pickens come from? And usually someone else answers it. I don't, because it's too long of an answer, and it's not all that interesting. That's a great thing to say at the start of your YouTube video, trying to get people engaged. <laughs> but usually someone else answers it, and almost every time it's incorrect, because it is a very long story story. Like, I don't think you realize how old Jim Pickens is. And I don't mean just by looking at him and seeing how old he is in game. In real life years, he is eight years old in August. <laughs> and today we're gonna learn a bit more about him and a bit about me as well, because we're kind of intertwined, you know? We're kind of the same person in a way. <laughs> that could possibly be used against me. Possibly he's done a lot of bad shit, but then again, no one's perfect, are they? All right, let's get started. I'm taking you back to 2011, August, the first appearance of Jim Pickens. So I guess this is his birthday, the 14th of August, 2011. <laughs> wow, that's pretty crazy to think about. All right, but this is the first appearance of Jim Pickens. It was in a uh, San Andreas video, San Andreas multiplayer video, and um, these were really fun to make. Let's take a little look at them. Yep, this is Jim. In all his glory. <laughs> this was a series I made with a YouTuber called Girl on Duty at the time. She doesn't make content anymore, um, but we had a lot of fun making these videos. And uh, it was all centered around this character, Jim Pickens. The name came from me just saying Slim Pickens. And then it evolved into a name called Jim Pickens. I told you it wasn't interesting in my defense. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh, you're getting caught, Jack! I just got carjacked! <laughs> and that was the end of Jim Pickens. It lasted, uh, 2 minutes 19 seconds. <laughs> Wait, what the hell was his body doing there? He was all crumpled up. Okay. You'll rest in peace now. Okay, now we're murdering someone. I don't even know the context and I don't want to know. Let's just skip ahead. Oh wait, no, too far. I'm in jail. <laughs> I think we got jailed for just randomly killing a guy. <laughs> Didn't understand the rules at the time, which was probably not a good start to a new server. But uh, yeah, we got arrested and I think we spend the rest of that episode in jail. <laughs> Two, one, go. Okay, now we're beating up someone else. Maybe this wasn't the best introduction. Let's go on to the next video. <laughs> you see, this is much better. There's a guy peeing on a pier. This is the kind of content that I gave back in 2011, and I still don't understand why anyone watched me. <laughs> okay, I kind of liked that. <laughs> I can't get out of here, I'm stuck in here! This series is just a lot of me killing people and then me getting killed for it. <laughs> Maybe we should just jump ahead. Okay, here's where Jim started becoming an actual character now. This is where he got created in The Sims 3. See, this is him. This is him evolving into an actual person. Yes, let's make him mean-spirited. He's an angry, angry man. Oh my god, he's pissed. <laughs> Even when he was being created, he knew what he was going to become, and he was angry over it. Look at this, I'm 6 minutes 30 into the video, and the sim isn't even made yet, and the video is only 14 minutes long. Like, what do we spend the rest of the video do doing the house, and we don't even get it feckin' finished? It looks like I'm spending a lot of time making a feckin' kitchen floor. Like, I don't understand why anyone watched me there. I kinda, you know, don't understand why people watch me now, but at least I can look at the content and be like, alright, there's effort put into it, I'm like, that was kind of funny. I exhaled out of my nose at that. That that's something. But I go back and watch this old content and I'm like, there's such little effort in it. There's such little work ethic and and comedy. There's like none. <laughs> what is going on? Why was anyone there? It's got 800,000 views. <laughs> like every part of the video I skipped to, there's just silence because my content was a lot different back then. In fact, gaming in general was. It was a lot of let's plays, unedited content, a lot of low effort stuff. And that's what my content was back then. It was just Let's Plays unedited. Lots of silences and stuff like that. But it's weird to look back on now. This was like Jim's mortal enemy. His first kill, I believe. And I just stabbed him to death <laughs> in the bathroom. <laughs> what a lovely death. He's just continuing to stab him. The mod was so feckin' buggy. But yeah, that's when his character actually started to become more of a character. I actually based a lot of him on Dexter, if you've ever seen that show. <laughs> Except he screams a lot more than Jim Pickens does. <laughs> but the idea was he was killing only bad people. He was killing all like criminals and people in the career criminal path and anything I could find that was bad about them. He's just calling them one by one. <laughs> so I guess he was always evil really, but he was kind of doing it in a 
gray area where he was killing other, you know, criminals and stuff. Still, like, I'm pretty sure if people littered, he was killing them. So, a bit over the top. <laughs> I think it's because I wasn't that evil back then. I was, like, very kind of, no, I'm a nice man. I'm very nice and all this. Then I did retail. <laughs> but, yeah, after a few years of doing low-effort YouTube content, I decided it wasn't for me. Obviously, the channel had kind of ramped down. I had an extremely poor work ethic. Like, I, I work a lot now. And I'm happy working. I like being productive. But back then, I was very lazy. I think in general, people change a lot from like their late teens into, you know, mid 20s. You, you change dramatically, I feel, at that point. And uh, I just didn't have a, a good work ethic at the time. And I feel like I wasn't a creative person. I still feel I'm not a super creative person, but um, I, I have more of a mind for it than I did back then. So the channel had naturally declined because of all those factors. And I decided I wanted to do something that was a bit more long term. I opened the store and uh, I ran it for about three years. I won't go too much into detail, but uh, yeah, here's a little video of the store. Just just if you're interested. But it was just a little walk around of the store when uh, when it's fully stocked. And uh, yeah, we've been open a few days now. It's been going really well so far. So, so yeah, that, that's all you kind of need to see, really. It was just a lot of gadgets, games, that sort of thing. And it's still going to this day. I sold it because I was involved in an accident, which I'm not going to go into super detail again because I feel like I'm repeating myself. One day, I'm going to summarize everything. I'm going to do like a draw my life if I can find someone who can actually draw because I sure can't. Going back to that not being creative part. And we're going to go over everything and then you will have everything in one place if you want any answers about me. One day. I'll, I'll do that. I've been meaning to do that for a while now. <laughs> so in 2014, I started dabbling a little bit again with The Sims 4. And you can see the content uh, kind of similarities. I think my personality was a lot different back then as well. I was a lot more reserved. But uh, you can definitely see like the edits coming in. I'm chopping and stuff like that to actually make somewhat okay content. And look, there's a zoom. Wow, that is high tech for 2014. <laughs> but I think really when the characters started to actually become like a character and have some actual actual like traits was when I came back into YouTube and I started doing Sims 4. Now the Sims 4 didn't start with Jim Pickens. This is getting very complicated. <laughs> My 68 episode series of The Sims 4 actually started with Erp, Forearm God. It's definitely the longest series on my channel. If you look through it, it's actually kind of interesting because it's been going so long and I don't really do series on my channel. The, you can look back at like the first few episodes and see that the content has changed quite a bit throughout. And it's just kind of interesting to see it kind of evolve like that. And it's, it's weird to do it over one series, you know? Oh, there it is. Blast those forearms. You see why he was the forearm god now? It's so weird to look back on because <laughs> I'm a lot different in the way I speak. I'm a lot more monotone. I'm a lot more reserved. And obviously, I'm in my old little office. It was really, really small, even though it might not look like it from that. It was like no walking space at all. <laughs> but the whole Erp thing was that he was this forearm god that all women were attracted to. And he was just spreading his genes all over the neighborhood. <laughs> so yeah, then Jim Pickens moved in from across the hall. Some people think he was a random sim. No, he wasn't. I created him and put him in the apartment across the way and think he's got a bit wacky because his personality is insane so even when you aren't playing as him he does act weird <laughs> but after two or three episodes of that he eventually moved in and gradually he kind of just took over the series and he became the main star again even though that wasn't my intention to begin with oh look at that erp is on the case Erp is a freaking hero. What, uh, Jim, why are you, why are you doing this? Oh, <laughs> Jim is like, I got it, guys. I did it. Yeah, you can see his personality is starting to come out a bit. He is just a weird guy. Like, I don't tell Jim to do a lot of the stuff he does. He's just, he just acts weird. But the story just escalated more and more. Like, it went on to the Sims chambers right after <laughs> he moved in. <laughs> like, it escalated so fast. Locked door for everyone but Jim. You can watch him sleep if if you'd like. See, it did escalate very fast, didn't it? It went from moving in to I'm building a chamber in the bathroom. <laughs> I don't think that the landlord will be too happy about the bathroom being extended and turned into a chamber, to be honest. Like, it is an apartment. He didn't own this. We were renting. <laughs> and in the very same episode, we moved into this house where we started the original kind of basement dungeon and started making people paint for us, which became like a central theme of the episodes. Not all that profitable because all the lighting down there cost a fortune. <laughs> but you can see as we go down the list, it just escalates 
escalated more and more. The cult started in episode 11, then Grimm came in in episode 18. He became a vampire, episode 28, a proper cult formed at 30 with the addition of groups. Had the son of Project Pickens, <laughs> made a restaurant where we killed people, became a cop, became a vet, <laughs> discovered winter and that we could freeze everyone, which EA immediately patched out of the game afterwards. I'm not saying they're watching, I'm just saying a lot of stuff I do tends to get patched very quickly. <laughs> and yet they still don't reply to my tweets on their Sims account. I know they're out there, they, they know I'm here, they just don't want to acknowledge me. We opened a store, started a band, went back to his childhood. <laughs> had mole people living in the walls, became a content creator, <laughs> made a battle royale with Shrek, Shrek joined the family, went to Strangerville, died, came back, solved the mystery of Strangerville. It's been a long winding road, but I'm glad you were here to experience it with me, because otherwise I'd just be a strange guy sitting home alone doing really fecked up shit to some sims. <laughs> Ah, uh, we went from having funny forearms to Shrek impregnating the neighborhood. <laughs> it just escalates, doesn't it? But yeah, that's the story of Jim Pickens. Maybe one day we'll find out my story a bit more. I'd like you to know a bit more about me. There are videos going back on the channel that explain a little bit more about me and my story. But I'd like to do an up-to-date one that's more full, like from the the start. Maybe not from when I was born because I'm a very uninteresting person and when I wasn't able to walk and talk I was slightly even less interesting if you could believe that. But if you'd like to have the whole story of me then please do let me know and I'll, I'll arrange something. I'll look for I think an animator or someone who could draw like a draw my life and we'll bring that back. I bring back old games I can bring back draw my life like when I say bring back I mean I will do it like no one ever follows my trend except for Happy Wheels of PewDiePie he definitely stole that from me that wasn't a coincidence PewDiePie is watching me and I'm going to be the next T-series <laughs> Except a lot paler. But I hope you enjoyed. Appreciate you watching, as always. We'll go back to regular content tomorrow. I assure you, don't worry. That is if you could call my content regular. It's a bit... It's a bit out there sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, hope you enjoyed again. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.